Welcome back, guys. We're gonna do a little soloing today. Dad's still at work. We're gonna go down to the lower part of the creek, see if we can get raked up, see if we can get bailed up, and then we're gonna try our accumulator out. So stay tuned. We're going ahead and getting this raked up. This is the same way as that up there was. Normally I don't fertilize in the spring. Normally I wait until after first cutting and then I go back in and fertilize. Seems like it does good, especially for what I want. I like to have a lot of second cutting and I like to have a few third cutting. Um, my first cutting hay is not bad by any means, but it seems like I like to have the lady stuff a lot more. But we're just going ahead and we're putting uh, three into one again and uh, we'll go ahead and get bailing. Now you may notice this looks a little golden color and I'll tell you why it looks a little golden color. In this field, I have a lot of this Virginia fescue, I think is what it's called. It's got a little bitty yellow head on it and it doesn't really make much hay. Uh, now, of course, there's I saw some fescue, some regular one, Kentucky. I uh, saw some orchard grass in here too, but that's why you see that golden color. It has a lot of that Virginia fescue and I think that's the name of it, but you guys can go ahead and correct me. You can kind of zoom in and see a little of it there. It's got the little golden heads on it. I believe that's what it is. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish raking up and we'll go look up our baler and I'll show you our accumulator. I haven't done much raking this year. I've done about all of it so far. I know it's a love-hate relationship with these old bar rakes like this, but like I said, I like mine. You can tell how good they clean up. Now this field was mowed Saturday night, and it is Thursday now. Uh, we kind of had a little spot there where it was giving a lot of showers, so I didn't kick it until yesterday. But it's actually pretty dry, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bail it up. You may notice too, there's some bare spots right here. It's a swag in the like in the creek bottom. It holds water until like the last of March, first of April, so it kills everything that's there. Thinking about getting me 10 or 12 tandem dump truck loads and just fill dirt in and then spreading it out and then putting some topsoil on top of it. So we got it raked up. Got the old brown hooked up to the new Highland. We're gonna head on down to the field. So this makes year number three uh, with this 311. If anyone's a smaller scale haying operation, I highly, highly recommend the 311 New Holland. I love mine. It's a lot more capacity than say a 273 or anything like that, or a 68 Superline or anything like those. It can take in a lot more hay, but it's still on the smaller scale. It doesn't quite take as much horsepower to run as say a 565 or 575. And it's still got a pretty good pickup set, pickup size head on it. So this is where this baler came from, new Lebanon equipment, Lebanon VA, Ford New Holland case. If anyone knows that dealer or anybody heard of that dealer, go ahead and comment below and see if it's still around. I don't know, I haven't really looked it up and saw. Also, if you get a 311 and you see a Ford sticker on it, that's some of the later last 311s that was made. In the early 90s, Ford and New Holland done a merger where they were both kind of together. Uh, that's why some of your 4630s, 3930s, 5030, they kept the same style tractor, but they just put New Holland on them instead of Ford. remember who it was but someone asked did I ever bail up any snakes before well almost just did run that baby at 540 guys don't be afraid of them Well, 
Well, we started with 374. So we built about 120 bales. Uh, this will be a perfect test for my grapple. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up, take a little water break, and then wait for dad to come home so he can drive the truck for me and maybe guide me. Um, like I said, this is my first time using one of these. So you guys are gonna be right here with me. So what you see in that video was a multiple series of different days. Uh, it's probably over a span of three or four days worth of footage. Uh, we bailed, I think it was Friday, uh, some, then we bailed some yesterday. Uh, today's Sunday. I'm just now getting the video together. Obvious problems is, is number one, it's too much weight for my loader. Uh, it lifts the grapple fine. I went down and helped Aaron load up some round bells. It lifts the round bell fine. But the problem is, is where there's so much weight out forward, uh, past the tractor, it's just too much for the old tractor. Now, there are ways that we're working around it. If you kind of are going through the field and you're hitting some small dips, maybe, uh, it kind of does take a little pressure off of it and gives you a chance to raise it up four or five inches, which is probably not really recommended, uh, especially with a bigger dip, because, you know, you could probably break something. Uh, but in a small dip, like just a small, smooth dip, where it just gets a little bit of bounce to the loader, sometimes it'll go up. But the way that we've been doing it is just imagine my hand is the grapple. If we can get it up six, seven feet, we set it on the edge of the baler and then set it flat, and then uh, we raise it up. Uh, and you can actually work it up, pull up, until you're eventually 10, 11 feet high, uh, which has worked out pretty good, but it's just slow. Um, once again, this is definitely not recommended on a tractor that old, but it's working for what we're using it for. We've stacked probably 200 bales with it in the barn, which is 200 that we didn't have to handle. Now, is this gonna be something that's gonna be forever? No, this is probably just a temporary use for that tractor because it's so worn out that if any one wrong, any one wrong thing happens, it could probably break the front end out from under it. But I told y'all we were gonna to try to use the grapple on it. And like I said, we were able to get 200 bales in the barn uh, without touching any of it. So, which that's pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Um, we're finished up with first cutting here, so we're going to do some other odd jobs until second cutting comes around. Have a good one, folks.